Okay, so today we've got a case that was referred in for extraction of some fractured number nine teeth. And we're gonna show you guys uh, what we found. We did a CT scan on this one and we've got some radiographs and it looks like it's gonna be a challenging case, but we should be able to help this horse a lot. So let's look at the x-rays first. We'll show you here what some of the challenges are. We can see that we've got a number nine here that's in bad shape, broken and infected, no clinical crown. Um, and this is on the horse's right side, so that's the 109. And then if we come over here, you can see this is the, sorry, let me see. This is a 209 here. And we can see that it's very trapped, meaning that there's a very small gap right in here and then a big tooth that's all broken off with no clinical crown. So this is gonna be a, a difficult situation to, to treat surgically. Um, and the horse is very young, six years old. So let's look at the CT scan here. Okay, so here we're looking at the CT scan. Um, so here we have kind of a horizontal view. This is a sagittal view here, and then this is transverse. Um, so on the sagittal view, this is the horse's left side. You can see the little R here. So this is the horse's right side. So where we're looking here is on the horse's left side. Uh, we can see that the number 209 is here. The socket has some granulation tissue with draining tracks and the adjacent teeth have shifted in significantly and we have all of this tooth that somehow we can't even visualize it orally. You'll, we'll show you with the endoscope in a second because of the granulation tissue and it's trapped. So it's a difficult extraction. Um, definitely a challenge. Something else that we'll show you in a minute here, you can see better orally, but you can also see it on the CT scan here, is the number 10 teeth are rotated 90 degrees so that the buccal side is facing mesially. So this little point here should be out here, similar on this tooth here. So that's another little challenge. Now let's go over to the right side. So the 109, we'll make a couple adjustments here uh, in, our in our configuration. Change some of the angles a little bit. Okay, so this is the 109 and we can see it's also fractured very hollow we've got some infection around here um, and really we don't have any any clinical crown to work with either during the surgery so this is uh, definitely a challenging case and the horse lives far away um, so we're going to try our best to do both uh, teeth as as quickly as we can here um, to give them the best chance at, at recovery. What we'll do next is we're gonna go look inside the mouth with the oral endoscope. Okay, so here we're looking at the 109. We've got a little bit of blood, we cleaned it out. There's a lot of food in there. So we can see this tooth is fractured, really nothing to get a hold of if we look at it this way. Can't really see it. Then if we look, the number 10 tooth here is, is the one that's rotated. Uh, this, this part here should be on the buccal side, so out here. So with these types of teeth, you have to be aware and look for periodontal disease. Um, so that tooth on the CT looks like it's alive and okay, so we're going to focus on getting this tooth out. Now here we're on the other side, on the horse's left side, so six, seven, eight, nine is broken. Uh, we see a little draining tract there. And then the 10 is also rotated. Mild periodontal disease. We can clean that out a little bit and keep an eye on that. So we're going to go after this tooth here first. This is going to be the hardest one because we can't even really see it. And it's very trapped, as we know from the CT. All right.
we are, uh, we've drilled into the tooth and we're actually cutting the tooth into pieces. So we'll show you down here on the x-ray where you can see where we just did that. So we can show you on the x-ray right here. Um, here's where we made a cut. And you can see how we've lined up our cut. So now we're gonna go ahead and pick these pieces out. So we've got one tooth out right now and we're starting to work on the other one. You can see this right here, this is pus coming down. We're starting to work with some periotomes right in here, cutting down the periodontal ligaments. And, uh, but you can see the pus oozing and coming down from the infection with this tooth. And then up in here as well. Okay, so here we can see we took that tooth out. That's a 109 on the right side. Uh, we we're able to get it out orally and then here's the left side. You can see that we were able to get all of that tooth out as well. Um, so again, we're able to do all that with, uh, by using minimally invasive techniques, everything through the mouth with the horse standing. That took about an hour per side. Typically we don't do both sides at the same time on the same day, but sometimes we have special circumstances, horses that come from really far away and can't really come back or there's just special reasons why. Um, this horse here was rescued and uh, this was a big endeavor for them to bring him all the way down here and do this. So we tried to maximize their time and resources and, and uh, just take care of everything at once. So, uh, but that, those are difficult cases like that when there's nothing to grab a hold of and the adjacent teeth have shifted in. Uh, but fortunately, now we have some really good techniques and instruments where we can do that in a minimally invasive way, and the horse should do well.